everyone, welcome back to Design House of Fashion. Today's tutorial is going to be based on how to cut Danshiki with key holes at the wayside. I have different tutorials that has key holes. I have bubu kaftan with key holes, I have a bubu top with key holes, with, uh, including the sewing aspect of it. I have the tutorial. I'm going to put a link under the description of this tutorial. So please, at the end of this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, I'm using two different fabric to cut out this danshiki you can use any fabric of your, of your choice you can use Ankara, you can use any fabric but here yeah, I'm going to use two different fabric to cut it out of which one, one fabric will be at the side the other one will be at the other side not that one will be at the back and one will be at the front no just follow me there I'm going to cut it out so I'm starting the cutting by folding the two fabric into two then i'm placing it on each other so here is the two fabric i'm placing it on each other as you can see this is the first one and this is the other one you can see it there these two fabric are two yards each of them is one yard so i'm going to start the measurement from the shoulder here the length of the dress here is going to be the length of the fabric I'm folding this is 35 inches but the length of the dress here I'm going to use 34 inches for the length of the dress the same allowance this is 34 inches so after taking the length of the of the dress the next thing to do is to measure the armor and since it's cut together with the sleeve I'm using 9 inches it's cut together with the sleeve I'm using 9 inches so I'll be using this to stretch it out so this is our ammo so after this now I'm going to trim the excess part of the other fabric out So after that, I'm going to take the measurement of the wideness here. So the measurement of the wideness here is 70.7 inches. So the 17 and 70.7 70 inches is okay because the actual bust measurement for this dress is 32 inches. Since we're going to use a belt, it's going to skew it together at the waist. So it's going to be it's going to fit together at the waist side. So that is why we're making use of the bigger measurement, but this actual measurement is for bust 32. If you make use of bust 38, bust 40, you can use 20 inches for the wide measurement here. The next thing to do now is to take the measurement of one and a half inch. This, this is one and a half inches. Then I'm going to paint the two fabric together. It won't shift while cutting so now from this side now I'm going to curve it to this area then from this area it's going to be straight down you can see you really need this more curve here So the next thing to do now is to take the measurement. Like I said earlier, I said the full measurement is going to be 34 inches, but I'm going to start the curve at the side. There is a curve at the side, so I'll curve it at 31 inches here. Cut it from here. When I get to this area, then I cut it down like this. So from here now, the shape is going to be like this. So 
so like that this is how the shape is going to be so now i'm going to start the cutting from here I decided to cut your own down like this but yeah this is the shape i want that's i'm cutting it like a shirt so to determine the key o now the key o is going to be at the waist side the key o is going to be so the waist here which is then at the half cut is 14.5 inches this is where you need the waist measurement. The waist measurement here is 28 inches. So 28 there by 4 will give us 7 inches. So this is the main the main waist measurement. This is 7 inches here. Since there is going to be a key O, so I'm putting this 4 inches to make it wide. So that by the moment you put a belt, it's going to fit in. This is where our key O is going to be. So from this key on now, I'm going to take a measurement of 1 inch here. 1 inch here. It depends on you. You can make your key O to be big. It depends on how, how big or how wide you want the key O to be. But yeah, I'm using one here, one here. One at the other side and this other one at this side too. and one inch at the last side here so one 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 so i'm going to to i'm going to connect the line together like this so to cut it out now i'm going to pin it down The first thing to do now is to hold the center this way, then you cut it. Like this. Then you can now cut it around. So now, this is the key O. The next thing to do now is to cut the leg out. Don't forget, like I said earlier, I said this is dashiki. It's going to have, it's going to have a slit at the front. So don't I won't make the neck to be too wide because of the slit that's going to be at the front. So the wideness of the neck here, I'm going to use 2.5 inches. Okay, and the neck here yeah, I'm using two inches for the back and two point five for the front. You can see it two inches for the back and two point five for the front. Since it's going to have a slit at the front. That is for the front neck and this is going to be for the back neck. So like this. So the first neck I'm going to cut 
is the back neck. There it is. Then now, but before I call the front neck, since I like I since I told you earlier that this so this one is going to be at one and this other one is going to be at the other side so that is why i'm going to slit it down before cutting the front neck so i'm dividing it into two Now, the next thing to do now is to remove all the pin. I'm moving all the pins that I put to hold it down. So this is the first side, and this is the this is the other side. Here is the other side, as you can see. Before you can cut out this neck. For the front neck, you have to join these two sides together, then fold it this way. They cannot cut out the neck. And if you are if you are with me already, thank you for being there for me all this while. I'm very good. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel once again. Like and share. Bye.